Hello fellow drifters, in today's vlog we've got an exciting adventure planned as we take you from Ao Nang to the mesmerizing Tiger Cave. Join us on this journey as we explore stunning landscapes and conquer the challenging climb to the sacred temple, delving into its rich history and significance in the Thai culture. Hello guys and welcome to Ao Nang Krabi, Thailand. Um, this is like the kind of main road leading down to the beach down that way. Today, 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 we are going to Tiger Cave or Tham Sua, I believe it's called. Uh, to get there, we're going to catch one of those things, one of these things. The uh, kind of Song, Tia, Song Tiao. Song Tia, I believe it costs 150 baht to get there per person. Uh, we probably have to go up to the bus stop, which is just up there. Uh, and we want to be going this direction. So yes, that's what we're doing. The famous Tiger Cave. It's called Tiger Cave, because it's got a tiger in it. Well, it's got a statue of a tiger. But I guess once we get there, I'll tell you a bit more about it. Cool, let's go. Hello guys and welcome to Tham Sua or Tiger Cave something somewhere I think it's that way but it's actually up on top of the hill somewhere that way and we have to find 1260 steps that's a lot of steps people a lot of steps and um, then on top of it is the big golden Buddha but look at this this is like pretty amazing um, statue just here I mean statue, so that's the statue. Temple. Looks like they're still building it, perhaps. Maybe there. Really nice stupid there. Cool guys. Uh, yeah, we're going up. Uh, I should just redressing appropriately, because as you can see here, no tank tops, no short shorts. Take it as well, saddle. Yeah, maybe. This is the entrance, it's down here. And yeah, that cost 150, but it did take about an hour. It's about a half hour drive if you're going straight there, but it took us about an hour. It took us like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite. It felt, felt like two hours. We also had to like uh, change over to um, a different Song Tia because one of them was like, yeah, 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 and then changed us to another one. Paid him. Anyway, we got here, uh, but now we're kind of here and there's not too much around. So let's hope we can find one later. <laughs> Otherwise, we might have to walk back down to Krabby Town or something. We'll see. We'll see. Cool. So yeah, we have to. It looks like we do have to pay. I heard it was free. I heard it was free. Um, yeah, it says to collect money with foreigners to maintain sites. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, you come just here, you sign in, and you kind of pay. It does say, of your own vol vol volition, volition uh, which basically means kind of pay a donation as you like. We pay 20 each, which is fair enough, I think. Uh, yeah, you can see here, like this. You can see here, there's still like the stonework, and then they're kind of painting it white or even putting a. Uh, um, like ceramic on it and then probably some gold on here so there's these other ones yeah. here you can see are still to be like clad with gold and, and, and ceramic it's kind of amazing to see something like that because we've seen uh, in Bangkok uh, walks that were gold and like we've seen the interior it is like stairs all around through all the levels and then we also seen in Ayutthaya ruins of those uh, walks which look a little bit more like those so um we kind of like see the whole uh process of of building a watch right now which is very incredible and have have like decided structure it seems like so cool. and over there you can see uh butter cutting his hair maybe maybe you can see it so i think that's you know, so that's after he kind of you know, had the first realization when he walked around 
I believe. This is from my memory, which, you know, can't trust all the time. Because, uh, you know, cause he, basically he was a prince. You knew that, right? Yeah. So he was a prince. Uh, and he'd been kept in the palace, like, all of his life. And all of a sudden he was allowed to go out. So he went out with his people and saw uh, poverty, sickness, and old, like, dying, you know, death. Right. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, wow, the, the world's actually full of suffering. So that was his first kind of realization. I see. And then after that, that's when he, because he, he had long hair, he was Hindu, he cut off his hair, and he went off uh, on his own, more or less. That's like the condensed version. <laughs> One thing I just noticed was these two doors here, um, which I do believe, sorry, before we actually climb up there, I might as well talk about this amazing structure here first. Um, I believe the doors are for these doors here and they've been taken off. So I believe that makes me think, or that, you know, my uneducated, uneducated guess means that they're actually refurbing this place, not building it from nothing. Um, you yeah, know, so they've obviously taken the doors off to then refurb the place and then they're going to place the doors back. I believe, I believe, I believe. But yeah, it sounds like they're destroying something in there. So yeah, maybe <laughs> I actually like kind of breaking it down. And this bit here actually does look like it's being kind of knocked down. So maybe they're knocking it down and re re rebuilding it. I'm not sure. Maybe if any of my uh, Thai followers know uh, or anybody else, maybe let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I forgot to say actually, yes, obviously I did mention Buddha over there. This is all a Buddhist complex. So it's, you know, um, and it's working uh, monastery. I have seen uh, both nuns. I haven't seen monks yet, but I have seen uh, Buddhist nuns around. Uh, yeah, there's one over there actually. You maybe can't see it from here. But anyway, that's kind of it uh, for this level. <laughs> So, a bit of a background of the temple, cave, the Tiger Cave Temple, uh, before we kind of start climbing up the side of the mountain. Oh, look, you can't almost see it here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, oh. Maybe you can see it. So yeah, I thought I might, <laughs> before I start losing my breath, climbing up all those stairs, there is 1260 of them, like I said. Uh, I thought I might give you a little brief history of it or whatever it is about. So, Tiger Cave Temple, also known as Tam Suwa, um, is obviously at the top of this mountain. Uh, it's named after, or it's named Tiger Cave because in 1975 uh, a monk was meditating in the cave and it noticed that there were tigers roaming around the area. Much like these dogs are now. Um, so that's one uh, possibility of why it's called Tiger Cave. Another one, uh, or another theory, is that because there's also tiger paw prints um, within the cave, and also people have seen tigers roaming around. And I think the monks saw a tiger actually living in the cave, or people, other people have seen tigers living in the cave. This is not since 1975, so that's about 50 years ago. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any tigers up there anymore. Um, but I do know that there are tiger statues around. So yeah, maybe we can spot them. them. I have heard that there's also like human remains that kind of decorate some of the temple. Now, I'm not sure if this is still Wat Thum Sua, or if the Wat Thum Sua is actually the one that's up on top of the air. But this is obviously like quite brand new, it's still being built, like I said before. Uh, so I don't know if these names correlate. I'm not sure how it works. Anyway, we're going to hit up. I uh, thought I'd just get that out before uh, trying to get out while puffing, climbing up all those stairs. Yeah, we're going all the way. Up there. Okay guys, 
Alright, so it turns out that this way is the tiger cave and then this way is like the the view, I guess, up the hill. So actually the tiger cave is down and then you walk up. So we're going to go to tiger cave first. There's Asha, look. She's waiting. She's, she's ready for the tigers. And then we're going to go out there. So tiger cave. Da -da -da. It's closed at 4 p.m. so yeah make sure you get there uh, before 4 because actually I arrived well we arrived at like about 5 past 4 Asha went through I was still taking my shoes off and he stopped me he's like no no you can but not me luckily Asha was like oh well I'm we're together and then he tried to push Asha out kind of and then was like well no yeah you guys go in so we both went in so yeah maybe get here before 4 <laughs> ideally yeah yeah I um I felt like it would be it would be fair for me to go by myself and like uh, obviously like try and kindly ask if we can go and we manage and the atmosphere inside of the cave is very intense very amazing like there's like definitely feeling of some something was there I guess like I read it was the tiger used to be there and sleep there in the cave and people from local uh, villages who come here to the forest to collect food and they would hear the roar from the forest so the, I, I would say that the energy of the of the tiger is, is there it's like it's amazing it's like a quite quite strong feeling so go check it out before four <laughs> yeah for sure yeah before four now we're gonna do the walking up there's the monkey up there can you see him? But yeah, we were quite, well, I was quite lucky to kind of get through. Um, and I actually, to, to myself, thought, oh, they're just closing, you know, for like a prayer or something. But obviously, it's four, and then actually they just closed. So I wouldn't have even seen it. For me, it was a little bit rushed. But I was like, oh, no, like, in my head, I was like, oh, we'll go upstairs and then come back down and then have a look at it. But obviously, they're probably not going to open up again until tomorrow. So we're lucky, lucky to get in. Okay, now we're going up. Up, 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 up. So. And I see a lot of people coming down covered in sweat and like panting and even like having to rest afterwards. So it's going to be fun. Uh, wish us luck. 1260 steps. Okay. I can do that. There we go. To here, and I just noticed, I was like, gosh, this must be halfway or something. And then this number here obviously uh, indicates how many stairs we're at. So we've still got about a thousand to go. Is that about right? <laughs> Okay, so we're about a fifth, one fifth of the way. Gosh. Wow. Yeah, I know. I These here obviously used to be the old steers. Uh, I did hear actually that I think originally it was 1,237 steps. And obviously these ones were too steep for people, so they um, made these ones. Gosh, the dogs are right up here then. The view is getting amazing. Um, obviously we're only one fifth of the way up as well, so it's just gonna get better and better. Okay, I need to save my uh, breath. But yeah, good. I'm glad I didn't go for a run today. Went for one yesterday. <sighs> I 
200 more to go, guys. You know what that means? Only 200 more to go. Okay, guys. 1260 steps later. Here we are. Well, there is a toilet bit just up there. But I think I have to take my shoes off for that. So that will come a bit later. But I can definitely see why everybody was sweaty. That's only one way as well. I could go all the way back down. Uh, I left Asha behind somewhere. Hopefully she can still make it. Uh, look at the view. Pretty amazing. Ah, she made it. Oh. Okay, she's still breathing. That's good. Still breathing? I was always the best on the last hundred meters. I don't understand what that means. But okay, maybe she's delirious from uh, oxygen deprivation. No, I like more oxygen. More oxygen. So we made it, well, actually there's a few more steps up there. I was going to say to the top, 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 but not quite. But check out this view. Okay, so you can see all the limestone here, limestone here, limestone here. I think this, you can even see what I'm looking at. Yes, this. Oh, that over there is crabby town. And then we go along, 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 along. Then we can see that there, behind this mountain just close, is like one limestone there, and then there's another one there, and then I think we're between there. <sighs> okay, but we're here. Have we seen the Buddha yet? Have we seen the big Buddha? Obviously this is the stupa. Got some bells. And over here is a sign that says, Congratulations, you have conquered the Tiger Cave Temple Mountain. You have ascended 309 vertical vertically, 309 meters vertically along a 600 meter path comprising of 1260 steps. Well done everyone. Here is uh, a Buddha's footprint apparently. Like I did hear that um, in some excavations they had in the cave and like maybe around here, they did have, uh, they found like molds and like tools and relics and things uh, that were used to create Buddha footprints. So if you don't know what a, what a Buddha footprint is, maybe I'll show it above. I've been trying to look for them. Uh, here it's just a, Buddha, just a footprint, but actually on the bottom of a, um, but a statue, you can see like all symbols and stuff, which is pretty cool. And that's what it actually they mean, as a Buddha footprint. But it's quite big. Got big feet. Cool, I think from the top, we're going back down the bottom. So that's us from the top, and now what? Yes, we're going all the way back. Down there. And then hopefully there, and then hopefully there, and then hopefully there, and then hopefully all the way back over there. 1260 more steps to go, don't we worry. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. <laughs> now, back down here. Let's go. Okay, guys, we did it. Climbed all the way up there. Climbed all the way. Down here. And we escaped the monkeys. Uh, cool. That's kind of it. Now we're going back this way. 
Uh, yeah, gonna try and get on Hong Tiao back to Ao. Man, been get crossed. Something will happen, something will work out. The monkeys here are cheeky, they're looking at things. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, I am sweaty, my legs are shrubbly, uh, this all looks like it's closed, we're hidden, we're hidden back, we've been up there somewhere, we've seen this thing, now we're going that way, back to our neck. Okay guys, so what's kind of happened is we're here, we're in a thing, um, one guy tried to charge us 500 baht all the way to Aonang. But then he did make a recommendation of getting in this for 100 each. Uh, and then to Krabby Town, and then from Krabby Town getting uh, another one, another bus, for 50 baht each. Yeah, kind of the same what we already did. So, yeah, kind of works out. It's not all the way, but I guess this is kind of, this is kind of what we're dealing with. I mean, I think... I think it's alright. I think it should work out. And we're going. We're going. Bye. So yeah, fingers crossed it all works out. We just go to Crabby Town, catch another one. Let's see. Okay guys, so we just got a our man here, uh, we're now in Krabby Town. I think this here, these here are like uh, kind of monuments to Krabby Town. A lot of shouting going on behind us. But um, yeah, this is kind of it for this video. We're going to go to the night market uh, before going to Ao Nang. So maybe that's the end of this video. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Pretty simple. You have to stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you can get to see us go to the Krabby Night Market. Just over there. Uh, yes. Yeah. Keep on drifting. <laughs> well, not quite yet. But okay. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, what was it? The Tiger Cave, Cave Temple. Very warm. Thuam, thuam, thua. Thuam, thua. But yeah, very worth. Legs are still like shaking. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I was actually starting to get hungry on the way up. So yeah. we're going to go to the Mount Night Market. You're going to press subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. She'll see you on the next one. Until then, keep on, keep on drifting. drifting. Cheers, guys.